Hello and welcome to the homework video for fourth grade for Friday, April the 31st. This is going to cover our uh, lesson working with angles and uh, joining and or separating. So we're doing more joining uh, than separating, um, but we can use uh, the strategy uh, to do the same thing. So uh, the first one, number two, 140 plus 20 would be our equation, and then the answer would be 160. Uh, I think I'm going to switch to the black marker. Uh, number four, so A, B, C. So we start here, go to here, go to here. That would be 115. Again, I already kind of gave you the measurements because I know some of you won't have a protractor to be able to do this. And I said I would explain the theory about what I'm doing. I'm actually going to do that on this particular problem. So number six, um, C, point C to point B to point D is going to be 75. Again, when I did that, I would get 65 for this part. And then going down this way, I would get another 10 degrees. So if you were working with a protractor, you could actually rotate it um, to get that um, even with this and then just look at the angle. But again, I don't have a proper protractor. I have a ruler that I can rotate a certain number of degrees and it gives me the measurements based on that. So. Um, that is the strategy that I have to use uh, to accomplish it. And so I will explain that because um, with number eight, that can help us explain some of the theory uh, behind how this is supposed to work. So again, with this kind of thing, our total for all three of these is half of a circle, which is going to give us 180 degrees total for all three of these. So to start with, what I'm going to do is um, attempt to line this up here, and then I am going to choose to use this angle. So I'm going to find the measurement of this angle, and I can find it exactly. Um, again, I don't know why I'm looking at the laptop instead of my larger monitor, which just makes it harder on me. So it looks like we are at about 50 degrees, and so I usually try to use this point. And so yeah, that looks like a good measurement for that. Um, so this measurement is going to be 50 degrees. And so now what I can do is I can do the same thing and I'm going to go for this angle. And what that means is once I have those two angles, I can use math or uh, specifically sub addition and subtraction because I'm going to add these two angles up and then subtract from 180 to figure out what the measurement of my third angle is. And so they are relatively close together. So looks like 70 degrees uh, for this one, which would make sense. This is a larger angle than this one. And so now I can add these together. So 70 plus 50 will give me 120. 180 minus 120 would give us 60 degrees. And so that means the measure for this part is going to be 60 degrees. And again, I should probably be putting the degree sign inside here uh, just to help us get in a good habit. So 50, 60, and 70 would be the me uh, measurement of all three angles. Together we get 180, which is half of a circle. And so this kind of also explains how I use addition and subtraction uh, to figure out. I know that the total of all three of these is going to be 180. So if I get two of them, I can add those two together and subtract to get my third angle. And so number one on the back, uh, we are looking at adding these two together. So 58 uh, plus 25 should give us 83 degrees. And that makes sense because if we had a straight line going up from here, we would have a 90 degree angle. And uh, we are very close to having that. And then our other one, the equation would be 148 plus 24 equals, and we are going to be just a little bit short of 180. That's going to give us 172. So again, 180 would be a straight angle here, and we are very, very close to having that. So again, that makes sense with what we're seeing on the paper. So hopefully that helps explain uh, a couple different things about that. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to ask. Uh, I'm going to have two more videos coming out today, one which is going to be our last lesson from this packet, 
um, that uh, went home a couple weeks ago, and then the homework uh, answers for that lesson. So hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.